Okay. So, getting into this best of five. Losers quarters, Gunyar versus Leon. Really want to see this match right now. Oh, I'd be out of shield. Yeah, that's the one thing you got to be careful, man. If uh, you do something unsafe on Bowser's shield, you already know that LB is coming. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Leon wants him to go low on that down smash. He can get super early kills. Oh, down here? Oh, barely missing it. Ooh. It looked like Leon was waiting for something there, but he still got caught by the Falcon Kick anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so far, uh, only thing I can say from Schoonyard that's getting him hard punished is uh, unsafe aerials on shield. Leon's just waiting with the up B every time. Ooh. I like the um, the lag cancel on the, the Raptor boost like that on landing. Okay. Oh, he missed that free punish. Unfortunate for him. But there's the command grab. I would love to see him keep using that move more against uh, Leon because he seems to be shielding quite a bit for this up B. Yeah, really good there is another because, one. Because like Falcon just, it, it can actually kill now. And when you have, when you're Falcon and you're able to just run around the stage and pressure people with great aerials, back air, down air, oh. knee, up air, then you're forcing people to hold shield. You can just easily up B and take a shield, uh, stuck like that too. <laughs> Look at the wave dash back. How does he do that? <laughs> I he haven't seen that many people with wave dash that well. It's like yeah. this guy and uh, um, Rivers, the only yeah. two I've seen do it so clean. Wave dash but, is really interesting in this game because like, it's it's done in, in more stylish, but the way that Scooniar is actually doing it is really, really good. Gives them that oh yeah, and Shulk, Shulk too, I forgot. Shulk has a really good one. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, pretty good for Leon right now. Oh, good. Ooh. And the, the shockwave is actually able to hit Falcon in that situation. That's a good call out oh. because if Scooniar did go for aggressive, like he called it out with that neutral air, that would have been death because that was such a charged up smash. That's going to be yeah. a throw. That's going to be possibly a wait for here. Good, good chance. Yeah, Leon's at such a low percent as Bowser right now that he's uh, not scared to go for like these hard reads because yeah. even if he does get punched, he won't you know take too much percent. And, and if he gets again. the hit, like. Falcon's, Falcon's dead for sure. Yeah. Nice. Yep, he's using that command guard really well. Oof. Ooh, he wasn't sure of the range of that move. Just yeah. sat him down. Man. The worst, like we saw earlier too, there's a shockwave that actually hits you. So you have to be really paying attention to it. But also, like Bowser, if he times that move perfectly, just like Cloud's up B or Aether, you can actually grab the ledge. Yeah, he doesn't have lag if he just grabs a ledge with it, which yeah. Leon tends to do most of the time. Nope, no sweet spot back there, so he's still living. Oh, it's too early on these downers. No, and it's not only that, like, Leon is going just a little bit low enough that he's actually able to get around that downer. Yeah. This Leon's timing on his up B when going low has been really good as well. Gonna call out. See, that's the thing about Bowser at the ledge here. He may not have the best ledge options with Flamethrower probably being the more solid one, but the fact that he could actually Whirling Fortress out of shield and punish you for overextending from the ledge with an aerial, it's pretty big. Plus, Up Smash has ridiculous side range, too. Oh, he still punished him for hitting that move, so he's going to get that side B out there. Okay. Oh, yeah, and save Nair from Ledge. Leon's just waiting patiently. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he, he just all dropped it, bro. He just there, dropped yeah. it. He just dropped he actually, it because he knows. He didn't even use that landing option a single time until then, so he had to know it was coming. <laughs> Yeah, he knew that he got hit by by forward air specifically, you know, the knee. But the best part about it too is usually, typically, you'll see from a falcon they'll push aggression, and then for Leon just to go for downer is pretty well noticed because that's the one thing that Squinyard is going to do is land, go for an up air, or try to go for an opportunity breaking grab, and then for Leon just to go for downer hail mary is pretty good option honestly. Yeah, again, he hadn't used landing downer a single time. Yeah. That whole match. For Bowser Bomb. It's a pretty quick move too, so if you don't see it coming, uh, it can definitely catch you off guard. Ready? Yeah, so far though, uh, in this match at least, uh, Scunio is not really able to abuse his uh, really good combo game. Because if he gets an unsafe like, combo starter or opener on Leon's shield, he just keeps getting up-beat. 
So I, I would uh, maybe go for a little bit more grabs to catch Leon shielding to start his combos from there instead of with aerials. Yeah. You have to be careful when going for grabs though, because if you time them wrong, remember there is Whirling Fortress. If you whiff it, you get whiffed. Pretty tough spot here. Bowser Bomb has such range on the sides. We saw how it works too. Yeah, it's actually really good for Leon. He either gets to the ledge like safely or um, they try to run in on the side of it and get caught by the Bowser Bomb. See, oh, he had a so really good landing up there, but he didn't get the right combo. Yeah, and it's so tempting for Schoonyard to try to land from the ledge with an aerial because you're able to do pressure on the shield, but also just able to try to come back and reverse your opponent. Big problem is, like I said, you got to factor Whirling Fortress. You have to be careful. Like you said, Stride, maybe the key for Schoonyard is to probably just go for a little bit more grabs just because you can actually stop, you know, Leon from going for those opportunities. But here is going to be that quick command grab from Leon taking stock mm -hmm. number one. Yeah, utilizing the platform as well to get an even earlier kill with the side B. Ooh. That's a good 44. Oh, but missing the knee on that? Ooh, okay. Thought he was going to go for... Uh, oh, that was good. That was good, but not enough here. 44% on the Scooniara. 138 for Leon. Never forget, this is the heaviest character in the game, so it can last for some percents. Yeah, we already saw him living at 200 plus percent last time, but... There's a Falcon Dive catching that uh, command grab off stage. Hopefully he can utilize that move a little bit more to edge guard Bowser because he's actually been really struggling to get these down airs on his up B so far. Nice. Oh, oh. missed the crab. Yeah, a lot of missed punches from Scoonia right now. Yeah, Scooter are finally able to get that back here from the ledge here. Not able to fully capitalize, but he's got stage control here. Can he find his way back in? I like the mix up here because he goes oh, the nice. to finish it off here. This yeah, really. Good stuff. Needed. Oh, but he just gets forward it immediately. Leon saying, that was a really good spike and all, but I'm not going to let you hold on to that lead. But uh, good for him to finally get that, uh, that near one to get put some good use in. Good movement on the platform too with these wavelengths. If anybody in the chat knows, and for anybody watching in the YouTube comments later, I can't remember, is Leon and Nick C from the same region? No, right? Or yes? Uh, well, they're both from Tri-State, but they're okay. not in the same, uh, state. Same I think, state? Okay. I think Leon is New Jersey and, uh, Nick C is New York, but okay. they're pretty close. They might have played I think, yeah, some I think I've seen them play, like, at Xeno before. I'm not too sure. I apologize if I'm wrong here. Nonetheless, he tries to pick up a quick Bowser bump for the stock. And unable to find it. Leon is New Jersey. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, Nick oh, is New Jersey. Right. Leon plays wow. Fatality a lot. Thank you so much for the information Oof. here. And the Bowser bomb will be the information that we need because this pushed Leon to game three with a 2-0 lead over Scooniar. Man, Bowser having a really good command grab is so good because he has so many ways to force you to shield and then he just gets right in with that, that command grab. Yeah. Of course, you guys are watching the VODs. You guys already know, man. You guys can participate live. Twitch.tv forward slash 2G Gaming every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. That's East Coast. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, West Coast, Best Coast Time for all you guys in the East Coast out there. You guys can watch live every Monday. Definitely be a part of the chat, man. Help help correct me when I don't know where a player is from specific regions. Uh, but yeah, good to know from Soldier Sleet. He does say that he has played against Vitaly, so that's helping him out in this matchup. But like Strides mentioned, man, he, having matchup knowledge specifically against a character you lose is big because you start to learn to find little things you can do in the matchup here. And for Leon, it's going to be that Whirling Fortress that's been the big damage dealer. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I just learned the spacing around uh, playing like, around that move can be really tricky for a lot of players because especially when you're playing a killer like Falcon, like you want to get in there with your aerials. You want to just like start your combos. But if you're not safe about it, you're just going to keep getting up beat. And uh, it can be really, really strange for most people to deal with. Yeah, and that's the crazy thin. thing too. It's like, you know that Scooniar wants to be in the air because Falcon gets a lot of his moves in the air, but that's the thing about Leon. He knows if I let him be in the air for too long, he's going to get real comfortable and I need to punish him so he doesn't feel that comfortable with it. Goes low for the oh. initial air, unable to find it there. Yeah, might have been better for him to just go for the up B instead of swinging on the nair like that, but he's still hanging on to this stock for a little bit longer. 
Oh, nice. Anti air up tilt. Very uh, slept on move for Bowser, but yes, it does kill. It is quick. Has a lot of range. Yep. So, uh, I feel like people only remember that move uh, from Bowser when it's too late. Like, you already use it against him. <laughs> That's definitely Ooh. one of those things. That was good for Scunier to come in here with the Falcon Kick. Specifically because Leon slowly started to make that call out with the up smash. We talked about how much range it has. You gotta respect it. Because you can take a lot of damage and you didn't even lose a stock. Yeah, it even has armor too, so you can't even just try to jump in on it. But Leon again with the stage control, pushing him to the corner. Oh yeah, he's waiting for that aerial from the ledge. Oh, oh. close, close, close. He uh, but once what? again, up till coming into play to take the stock, man. Like I said, you usually remember it when you die from it. Yeah, so strong. Oh, he's going for the suicide kill. He could definitely go for that with the stock lead. Ooh. They're closing now. But the up and tilt. What a mess. Spike sending him down with the down air just to close out the stock. That's exactly what he needed to keep himself in this game. Gunyar trying his best to avoid elimination here. Oh, no grab there. Yeah, I think he's really, really respecting the uh, up B now. So he's trying not to go for uh, preemptive follow ups. See, and that's the sad thing, too, because just as you see that he goes for another Raptor, <laughs> he gets hit by a beat. So I think for Scooniar, he kind of just needs to be comfortable just coming back on stage. That way, when he comes back, he can just hold shield and then react after oh, one of the jump. fortress. Great Wait. DI. Okay. Another chance. No oh, invincibility. No, he, yeah, he, he got off the ledge quick enough until he got up to it for the third time. <laughs> Catching his jump. Leon's going to close that one out 3-0.